Thank you, Louis. I got this milk all because of you. After having the tiger's milk, now I am very fine. But, but, but what, sir? But my priest said that I need to find things that have no place and no form in order to have a complete recovery. Got it? What is that thing? I don't know, Louis. Uh, where can I get it? Uh, maybe somewhere across the desert. I don't know. Well, you are my master. I will set out tomorrow by your order. I will return with those strange things. Now, now I'm going, sir. After speaking this, Louis leaves, and immediately the jeweler came out from his hiding place. He has fallen in the trap, and he will never return back. <laughs> How can he return with the things which do not exist? Now all will be mine, mine. <laughs> Both of them gave an evil laugh. Meanwhile, at night in Louis's room, Louis is very worried. Louis saw Maria and said. I don't understand what that strange thing is. Neither me. But listen, I have a sister in the north. Her name is Saria, and she is a magician. She know a lot of things. I believe that she can at least guide you in the right direction. So go to her. But how will she recognize me? Listen to me. Take this comb. You just have to show her. She will recognize you by looking at the comb. Probably she could tell you what the thing is and where that thing could be found. The next day, Louis goes out following Maria's instructions. As the days went by, he crossed the forest, then the desert. Then he saw a palace. Arriving at the entrance of the palace, Louis said to himself, uh, uh, This looks Saria's palace. Let's take a look from inside. Wife. I want to meet her magician sister Saria. I am Saria. I am the queen of the region. But what is the proof that you are Maria's husband? Ah, oh, Maria is my sister. How is she? She is well. She has only sent me to you. Why? I have to bring something for my master which has no place and no form. I have to bring something very strange. No, no, there is no such thing. Surely your master vessel has some evil intentions. Uh, uh, then what will happen? You take this magical stick. When you knock on the thin side, you will get food and palace. And when you knock on the thick side, you will get the soldiers. Consider it a gift from my side to my sister. Louis left that palace with a Maria's gift from her sister Saria. You know what? It has been six months. Do we still have to wait for him? I don't think so. Then this is the opportunity. So let's search the land of Louis tomorrow, day. 
Of course, of course. The next day, the vessel went to Louis' house with the soldiers. His soldiers dug up the entire garden. Vessel and Chula kept standing there. Their men were digging up the garden and uprooting the trees one by one. Maria stood frightened at the door. The soldiers began to search the entire garden but found nothing. They told Vassal. We found nothing, sir. That means it is in the house. If there are coins in the house, bring them to me. If not... What is happening in my house, sir? What is happening? Searching for the coin. Tell me the truth. Where have you kept the grandfather's belongings? Sir, this is my grandfather's property. Is that so? Soldier, tie him up right now. Stay there. Look. Immediately, many soldiers appeared. Soldiers, tie them up. Leave us, Louis, leave. No, you set me away to fetch things that don't exist, to take possession of my grandfather's belongings. So, you will be punished. I was wrong. Let me go. Let me go. On one condition, if you promise not to commit any crime from now on, not to steal anyone's property, to work for the good of all, then I will leave you. Yes, I will do that from now on. I will not do any wrong again. Forgive me. Forgive me, please. Okay, soldiers, untie them right now. And if you ever do such thing again, remember my army, okay? Of course I will remember. Let's go, let's go. Louis was an honest, brave archer, as well as a kind-hearted person. So he forgives Vassal for everything. After that, Louis built a palace with the help of stick and lived happily ever after with Maria.